Hi, and welcome back to the WCPS Video Repository. Today we're going to finish looking at how to use AirServer in your classroom. AirServer is a great way for you to demonstrate skills by both you and your students. In our previous two sessions, we downloaded and installed AirServer, as well as set up preferences to make finding and displaying easier for both you and your students. In today's training, we'll discuss how to display from an iPad to your MacBook. Let's get started. We'll first need to ensure that AirServer is turned on. To do this, double-click the icon in your dock. Okay, it doesn't look any different, but that did indeed turn AirServer on. If you did not put it into your dock, you can use your Spotlight search to locate AirServer. and it is, it is indeed turned on. Okay, next let's check to see which wireless network we're using on our MacBook. The easiest way to do this is to look in our menu bar. I'm going to hover over and then click on our Wi-Fi icon and I can see that I am indeed attached to the WCPS network. We'll need to make sure that our iPad is also connected to the same network. Okay, let's continue on. To get started with our iPad, I'm going to go ahead and connect using AirServer. Okay, and you can see that was a pretty quick process. Okay, so I do have my iPad showing. And the first thing I want to do is to make sure, if I was getting started with this, that my iPad is connected to the same WCPS wireless. To do this on your iPad, go to Settings. And at the top on the left, you will see that I am indeed connected to WCPS. Both of them can also be connected to the WCPS Access Network. But again, both the iPad and the MacBook must be attached to the same network. Okay, moving on. On my iPad, I'm going to hit my Home button. And what I want you to see is that my MacBook is going to mirror exactly what I'm doing on my iPad. So if I turn my iPad to landscape orientation, it's also going to change on my screen. And as I scroll through my different icon, excuse me, app pages, students can see what I'm doing as well. So how did I get this to display? Let me show you. I'm going to go back to portrait orientation and scroll. what I'm going to do is take my finger and I'm going to push up from the bottom of my iPad. So literally start on the outside edge of the screen and push up. You'll notice that it brings you a menu and down at the bottom you'll notice one that says AirDrop and I've got mine turned on for everyone and I've also have one if it didn't say KP right now, it would say AirPlay. So yours will say AirPlay. All I have to do is click on that icon, find the name of my MacBook. And remember I told you that we needed to make sure that we identified our MacBook with a name that our students could easily locate. So there's mine, KP, and my mirroring is turned on. If I toggle my switch to off, you'll notice that my iPad goes away. Toggled back on. Here it comes. So it's that simple for your students to connect to your MacBook using AirServer. All right, when you work with this, we had discussed that you may or may not wish to put a password on it. Traditionally, elementary schools haven't had a problem with students connecting to an I, a teacher's MacBook that they shouldn't, but they could do that if they wanted to. Those are all preferences that are set in AirServer. I hope you've learned something new today on our training. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact your instructional technology specialist in your school. Thanks for joining us.